Well, here we are, ready to dye some more fabric. And I know you can't see us, but you can see the fabric. And I've cut my pieces and wet them. I have my water here. And I've decided how I want things to look, I think. But it never comes out exactly like you think it would. <laughs> so I like to use these little jars. Beth will show me how useful they are. I won't say the name, but everybody recognizes them. Um, and I'm just pouring a, a little bit because these are little jars. This is teal. Eh, maybe a little more. I can't put these gloves on because my hands are wet. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to make an apple green one. And yes, I need to... St That's a mess. Did you get paper towels? No. I didn't. Mm. Here. I just use this. Okay. I don't want this flaking off into my dye. Ugh, gross. Okay. Oh, you know what? Let's make a big mess. <laughs> I didn't stir the teal up. Maybe that's why it looks blue. Oh dear, that's a lot of green. That's all right. I'll shake this and add another drop or two. piece of fabric that I had dyed at some point mm -hmm. that I thought I would put Easter celebration because I had I had chosen the yellow fabric for it mm -hmm. because of the just that I had and and I wasn't sure if the white would show up on there well very well and uh, so I was you know debating whether I was going to use that and then I when I was cleaning up all my cross stitch stuff, I came across several pieces of fabric and one of them was dyed blue. So I I thought that would work well. You dye everything blue. I know, and that's what I was like, so I have all these other fabrics and I never use them because I'm like, oh, blue, I want to use blue. This is evening blue. I'm going to be dyeing uh, for a whole bunch of bookmarks and also uh, a couple of little patterns that I'm working on for myself and I think I will use that neon green for one of those little ones. So I'm using this aquamarine which I've never used before and um, and I think I might just like put little splashes of yellow in it or something just for fun. I don't want to mix them together because I'm going to end up with green. Mm. I think... Mm. Okay, that's what I'm going to... I think I'm going to change my mind and use that wine color. If you don't put it in too long, it's pink. It's very, very short. Yeah, I know. Be careful with my phone. I end up dying my phone. <laughs> so, this goes up. All right. Mixing them up, and yes, one drop is going into another. I don't care. It's just a drop. I'm not a professional. <laughs> now, in the yellow, I don't want drops of other colors going in, because then it won't be yellow anymore. I don't know if I have enough dye in the yellow. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. 
Ooh, something's in there. Close. Because <laughs> I stirred it, I can't grab it. No. Oh, crap. Oh well. Okay, so here. Um, so this yellow is for one of my bigger fabrics, which I plan to do lots of things to other than get some weird thing on it. I got it finally. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, the teals. One of these is teal. And I'm not tie dyeing these or tying anything on them because when I squish them up in here, it gives a model look to it. So. So I'm I'm dying both a 32 count even uh, in linen and a 28 count. I think it's just even weight. Um, let me see. Actually, yeah, the 28 count even weight. And they're both going in this aqua marine, and they're both more kind of watered up. And if you uh, want a lighter color, you just leave it in less time. So. And for these bookmarks, I need light colors because they're spring bookmarks. So here's the, the teal, which is kind of blue, but still teal. And they're going to have to dry, which will happen later because it's not right. See the yellow? Um, but now this one wants to be teal. which happens to be my favorite color. I like everything too. And this will get red. Oop, it's not pink. <laughs> it's a little red. It'll dry a little bit lighter than this. But you can see that the modeling on it. And I'm trying not to touch them together. And we have a protective two protective tablecloths on this table to keep it from soaking through I should have brought some paper towels over here I'm hogging the orange thing that's a pretty blue that one came out good I like that okay about this it's a little darker than I would have wanted but I still like the color it doesn't take very long at all oh this apple this neon green is so pretty I like it look mm -hmm. oh no I got something on it oh well because I didn't wipe off my hands I got a little speck of blue on it, which, you know, wasn't intentional, but I don't care. Okay, so because a lot of times it ends up being covered up by something, and if not, you know, that's okay. Like I said, these do dry lighter. And I could try, oops, I'm getting something on that. I splash on my arm. <laughs> I have a, a, a t shirt that I usually wear when Ooh, I. Ooh, that's pretty. Can dry. I use the aquamarine? Yeah. Here. Let me just. Actually, 
That's beautiful, Beth. Now I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> well, and the yellow, you know, parts are kind of turning green, but that's okay because they're a very springy green. Uh, yeah. Can I borrow the knife? Yeah, just a second. That, that's beautiful. Sorry, I grabbed it. What? I was gonna say, I have a, a pink t shirt that I usually wear for dyeing fabric. Because I don't, you know, because it's all wobbly and yucky and everything. But <laughs> I, one of my cats barked on it. So <laughs> Just dyeing the two pieces of fabric and then dyeing them both the same color. But that's such a pretty color. It is, it's beautiful. It came out so pretty. Oop. Didn't mean to turn it green. Now that's a beautiful green. <laughs> well, look, that, that's a, it. The, the yellow mixed in with the aqua marine turned to green. It's really pretty. Yeah. That's pretty. Yeah. Yeah. That's for the summer. Um, this one's for the spring one. Okay. Well. I can't reach. <laughs> Put it in the neon green. Slightly different. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Or do I want a little purple on it? Nah, I don't really like that. Well, <coughs> so now we're all done except the cleaning up and the drying. You see how easy it is?